Hey, good morning, James. This is going to be a demo video for you for three of your sabers. Um, I got excited before I made this part because I do the actual demo before I record this part and I box them up. So um, we've got your green mamba here that we're going to go over. We've got your um, Nerf Herder Customs and Java's Junkyard Corcoran with Taco master chat or taco brass chassis that we'll go over as well and then lastly but not leastly we will go over your java's junkyard red harvest with a clear acrylic chassis all right so um each of these sabers have all of the sound fonts that you sent me but they're all set up a little bit differently and these are all some pretty involved builds so let's go over my desk and take a look at them and i will get these out in the mail to you today thanks Hey, good morning, James. We are going to go ahead and go over three of the four sabers that I've completed for you in this demo video. Uh, you and I talked about the Orgus Den, so I won't go into it in detail here. But what we have here is uh, the Jawas Junkyard and Nerf Herder Customs Corcoran with Taco Shop chassis. We've got the Jawas Junkyard Red Harvest with the clear acrylic chassis that was designed by Tim over at Tierfon Orbital. And then we have the TCS or the Custom Saber Shop and Sloth Furnace Green Mamba. So we'll go over the Green Mamba last. We'll just put that over here. We'll go over the Corcoran second to last. And we'll go over the Red Harvest first. Um, so as you'll, as you'll notice, I have the chassis outside of the Saber on this guy. It's a little bit easier just to go over it in this order. All right. It is a two button setup, so you've got a switch here and a red switch here, all right? In order to get the chassis in and out, you're gonna have to come over here and this bolt right here, or this little screw, you're gonna have to take that out. All right, so we'll take that out real quick now. Make sure you do this over a table or something because it is a pretty small guy, as you can see there, right? Uh, and you don't wanna lose that, but you take off your pommel. When you take off your pommel, I did glue this on. On the last one that I did, I didn't glue it on. On this one, it was a, it was a bit looser of a fit, so I just went ahead and I glued it in place so that doesn't come out. You don't have to worry about that. That pushes up against the speaker, all right? So we'll put these over here. Um, this is your chassis. So because of the size of the Sabre uh, being very, very compact, there's no kill switch on here. To turn the Sabre off, you'll need to take the battery out. And I've got your battery here. You've got an 18350. For this guy, you've also got an 18350 for the Corcoran, and I'll provide both. All right, so you've got a 22 millimeter Smokers Outpost Nano Elite speaker here. Um, you've got an LED strip right here. You've got another LED strip right here. You see your two switches. Uh, to put sound fonts on this guy, what you'll want to do, and I got all the sound fonts on here that you sent to me. Um, mostly all from Kyberphonic, I believe. There may be one from KSith on here, but. Um, copies of the config file that I used for each Sabre are on its respective SD cards because they all are set up a bit differently. All right, but to put fonts on here, you're gonna to wanna to scoot the board up. We'll do that with a pair of tweezers. You can do that carefully. Scoot it up just a hair, and then you're gonna to wanna to pop the board up like that. You pop it up, that's how you get to your SD card and your micro USB. When you're done making your changes, you push it back down. And then I like to uh, slide it back as well. So it makes that little click noise there. And that's how the board locks in place. All right, you've got a KR Sabres V4 Eco PCB here. All right, your 18350 battery. Now the, uh, the leaf spring is over here by your speaker. So the negative side of your battery goes over here by your speaker. Make sure when you're putting the battery in, you're putting it straight in. If you try to put it in, you know, slanted this way or slanted that way, it's not gonna work. You gotta go straight in. It's gonna feel like it's not gonna fit, but it will. Push it all the way in like that. As you could see, you've got that LED strip going in that one. They are wired in unison, okay? When you put it in the Sabre, it matters how you put it in. So the side that has your battery and your board Line it up with this grip right here, all right? Just slide it right in. When you got it all lined up, it'll go right in just like that. Then you can take your pommel, put it on. We'll come over here and we'll line up that hole. 
put our screw in and tighten up that screw. Okay? Now it's all put together. Now when you got your grip facing up, the switch on your left hand side. Master Seer Junda. That is your auxiliary. So obviously the other one is your power. You got twist off. Son of Corellia. Very cool shine through. As you can see, the Dagangara had two two different versions. Whatever sound font you sent me, if it had two versions, they're both on here. One was uh, the dark version, and then one was the High Republic. High Republic being yellow. back at the beginning you can see some shine through up top here too okay so uh, to get to your blade retention what you want to do is unscrew this top lip right here I'll take this off carefully so we don't drop it that will expose this hole now I don't have a grub screw to fit in that hole um, so you'll need to get a very small one uh, the last one that I did of these for someone else I didn't have like I had the right size but I didn't have the right height this is so tiny um, it's probably not going to show up good on camera but there's only like two threads in there for that blade retention screw to lock into um, and it has to be all the way into the threads otherwise when you go to screw this back on um, it's not going to go on right it's going to get in the way so um, I can send you an Amazon link for that if you like it does take a, a 7 8 inch blade so we'll put a 7 8 inch blade in here. To get past the top portion of the lip, it takes a little bit, but once you get past that, you're good to go. I'll just hold it in here and show you that it lights up a blade. All right. Whoops. Your blade, uh, blade locked up. All right, and then we'll take the blade out. Pop it out like that. <clears throat> when we're done with this, of course, you will want to take out the battery. So we'll just do the opposite steps that we did to put it in. We'll take out this little screw here. Remember to do it over a table. Take out your pommel. Your chassis will slide right out. Now the battery is very tight in here. So what I do is I, I work it a little bit on each side. I got to get it over here where I could see it. Okay, so um, pry it up a little bit from the positive side. Come back, pry it up a little bit from the negative side, and you got to work your way back, uh, back and forth a few times, so you can pop this out. May have to do this up top where I can actually see it in my face, and you pop it out like that. It will pop out. So do that over a table too, because it, it's a pretty aggressive process to get that out. All right, so that's just the nature of the saber. So we'll put that back in there for safekeeping. Put the pommel back. As far as operation of the three sabers, this one's probably the most tedious. Um, it just has the most going on. All right, um, if you ever find that these aren't actuating the switches, you probably have them screwed in too tight. Try backing them off just a hair and try it again. I've got them right where they need to be for now. But that is a possibility in the future, depending on how much you use this. So just be aware of that. All right, so that's that guy. Let's go over your Green Mamba. So this is a very, very interesting hilt. I had one at one time, and then when I ordered mine on the pre-order, I got it in bare aluminum. Um, 
I didn't really care for any of the powder coating options, although I will say that this one is very tasteful. I, I, I really do enjoy the powder coating option on this one. I think it was just the right amount to make it pop and it looks super cool. Like if I had to do it over again, I'd probably get this combo. Install with a Profi V3. Uh, to get to the board is, there's a few steps. <laughs> so uh, in the future, if you wanna get to the board, you'll have to take these two screws out here, here and here. Flip it over and take these two screws out here and here. And that way you could take, you could slide this ring up and take it out. Slide this ring up and take it out. Then this bar right here, you could pop off and take out. Then this, uh, this uh, round aluminum sleeve will come off. This round aluminum sleeve will come off. Finally, you will have exposed the board in the board shelf and you can make changes. Now I did get all the sound fonts on here that you sent me, so you should be good to go. But if in the future you ever wanna make those changes, that's what you need to do. And then put those back in in that order. All right, so Profi B3, it's got the provided speaker. I did put two different NeoPixel accent strips over on this side that you'll see light up. I actually did show you a short video, but you'll see those light up here in a second per request. Um, Coming over here, this is your on and off switch. So just turn it. You think yourself a savant. Turn it again to turn it off. You pop this off for your recharge port. So your recharge cable is in your kit and I'll make sure that goes back out with you, but be careful of this guy because it's on a magnet and that is what covers that recharge port right there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, these are just greeblies. Coming up here, you've got a crystal chamber. So that is also uh, programmed separately. You'll see that here in a second. You've got your two switches here. I believe this one is power and this one is auxiliary, but we'll go over that here in a second. This middle um, screw right here, that is your blade retention. So you don't have to mess with this one. Don't mess with this one. This is your blade retention right here. All right, so, and then you've got another KR Sabres V4 Eco PCB. Now you sent me the install kit with this. It came with a PCB with long pins. I don't like using long pins if I don't have to. Uh, it's just something that could get damaged in the future if you put a blade in too much or, or like too hard. So I went ahead and I swapped it out with a PCB that I had that has short pins and it works fine. All right, so coming over here, we'll turn it on. The order is gone and I am free. Whoop, this side, you can see your LEDs light up, power, and now you got that crystal chamber here. Your LEDs in here light up, and of course you got that animation over here. Auxiliary. Get the young men together and go. We'll slide. We'll cycle through these real quick so you can see that they're there. Jedi Knight Dog and Gera. Nope. Ninth sister. Just a simple wonder. Disgraceful. Master Seer Junda. My name is Dagon Gera. Jedi Knight Dagon Gera. Power. You got your crystal chamber all lit up there. Speaker system going. And you got twist off there. So again, we'll we'll go ahead and turn it on, and then come over here and flip it off. With basically the kill switch, you just turn it one click and it turns it off. And that's basically how you work that guy. So the operation itself for this Sabre is pretty simple. Um, the build itself is pretty complicated and then getting to the board in the future to make some changes will be a little tedious, but you should be able to do it. All right, so that is the green Mamba. We'll put that off to the side. And then finally, we'll go over this guy uh, from my boy, Benji over at Nerf Herder who designed it and then ran by my dude Leon over at Jaws Junkyard. This is the Corcoran, so the Corn Horn Saber. Again, you have a KR Sabers Eco PCB V4. It is a two button setup. So I made sure that the green uh, arrow here was your power, <clears throat> excuse me. The red arrow is your auxiliary. And of course you have a kill switch externally here. So you can flip it. I've been waiting. All right, we hit power. Well, I just want you to see that your arrows are doing their thing first. So this is basically the cave scene. 
until we turn it on. I left the green solid when it's on and the red pulsing. Beefy boy. And then you've got twist off. So we'll go ahead and turn it off for now. To get to your chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle. Hefty, made out of steel. You'll get a workout in. All right, so uh, this is the Taco Shop chassis. Um, not for the faint of heart. This install is not for the faint of heart. So it has three crystal chambers here. You've got a crystal up here. You've got one down here and you've got another down here. Now you did not provide the printed crystals that go with the chassis. You gave me real quartz crystals. So I spent some time trying to get those to fit and finally got them. But that, that was a bit of a challenge. So these are all real quartz crystals here. Uh, this is your battery cover. So if you ever wanted to get to your battery to pop it off, to charge it, it's a tight fit. Let me get in here. I might just use my tweezers to kind of like pop it loose gently. All right. Also an 18350 battery and it's held on with six magnets. But 18350 battery, it is also a tight fit in there. So when you go to take that battery out, do it one side at a time until you just kind of lock one side, one side, one side until it pops out. All right. And then when you put it back on, make sure you clip it back into place and it will be a nice snap fit down in there for you. Coming over here, this is your board cover. I will warn you when you take this board cover off, there's a lot of wires. There's exactly zero place to hide any wiring going on underneath this board. Like the like the cover is designed to hide the wiring. All right, so my apologies in advance. I, I hate to show my wiring, um, but I could not help it here. And I did put some um, Teflon tape over the solder pads here. It was just riding ridiculously close to the board cover and it made me feel uncomfortable so I, I, I put some on there so that it wouldn't short out all right but I mean you've got <clears throat> you've got three wires coming for one crystal you've got another three wires coming for another crystal you've got another three wires coming for the other crystal you've got two wires coming for your speaker and then you've got a wire coming for the negative battery contact so there's a lot of stuff going on back here all right, so that's how you get in there to make any changes, or if you don't want to make any changes, you can just leave it s sit like that. Um, let's go ahead and turn this off, the light off, and then turn the saber on. I know you did your best, Cal. So I tried to make them all do a little something different. All right. Appropriate sound font for this particular saber. This, this particular sound font really gives you a visual on camera of how all three crystals are kind of doing something different. So they all are wired independently and programmed independently. I left a silver one in there just for a bit of contrast. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn this back on. We'll turn the saber off. That's what it looks like outside of the saber. Of course, you've got a 28 millimeter Smokos Outpost Elite speaker. Put this on here. A few threads, just lock this all the way down. Come over here and flip it on. You dare stand against me? This was made for a one inch blade. I'm just gonna hold it in there for now. For these tight fits like that, what I'll end up doing is I'll turn the saber on as I'm putting the blade in. That way I know when I hit the pins and I can stop pushing on the blade. Just like that. All right, so it is a bit of a tight fit, but this is a brand new one inch blade. I, I, I actually should have used this one. I didn't even think about it. So if you have a brand new blade, you'll probably end up doing some sanding, but that's no big deal. Get the young men together and go! Jedi Knight Dog and Gera. Oh, 
turn on again to flip it off with the kill switch here just like that so that is very convenient it's a very cool feature that benji added uh, let's take this blade out real quick let me do it off camera so i could put some oomph in it there we go so uh yeah might do some sanding to a brand new blade. All right, so uh, what was I gonna say? Um, yes, each of them are set up differently, so they each have different config files on their SD card. This one, for example, has six blade styles. You've got your main blade, that's one. Each of the crystals, there's four. And then your two switches, five and six, broken out into subblades, okay? So six blade styles on this guy. Your Red Harvest has two blade styles, okay? It has your main blade and the two LED strips in the chassis that are wired in unison. All right, so that's a different config. And then your Green Mamba here has three blade styles. You've got your main blade, your, Chris, your, your main blade, well, well, it goes in this order. Your main blade, your speaker, two LEDs that are wired together, strips, right? And then your crystal chamber, it, it goes in that order. All right, so that has a different config on it as well. But anyway, those are the three savers that I did for you. Let me know if you have any questions, and it is my intention to package these up and get them out in the mail to you today. Thanks, man.